Come on with the questions. I just want to know what you guys want to know about me. You guys want me to talk about, like, my past, my growing up? I'm, I'm going to tell you guys the story. Okay. In... 2014 2014 was probably like my most difficult year that I've had thus far maybe 2014 and 2017 yeah um so 2014 let me just give you like a little rundown if you don't know anything about me I'm from Oklahoma and I moved out here to Vegas when um TK Capone got put in jail for something that he was not um he was convicted of a crime that he didn't commit pretty much and I'm out here and I just started dancing I was in just knew about the lifestyle so I just started dancing and it just felt like everything was just coming down all at once okay in March okay actually in February my first dog that I had passed away so I'm like, dang, I'm out here in Oklahoma by myself. So then I move out here in Las Vegas with TK. He ends up going to to jail the next month in March. So I'm out here by myself again. Okay, in June, I find out that my brother committed suicide. And I don't know if you have anyone that committed suicide like any of your family members or, you know, even if you thought about it, like that's something that his home. And I know that when I have my own platform, that that's something that I will definitely speak about. You'll, you you guys will hear more about that. If you continue to um, follow me and learn more about me, you'll, you'll, you'll learn more. Um, yeah. So my brother actually committed suicide and um, it was like, like real, real difficult. Like, that whole year was so difficult. Okay, so I go back to Oklahoma and for my brother's funeral. Mind you, I'm just starting out dancing and I'm not making a lot of money because I don't know what I'm doing yet. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm back in Oklahoma, my brother's funeral, and I'm actually stuck out there. Like, I'm out there with my family but they don't want me to come back. So they're not even gonna give me money to come back. Like TK's out here by himself. I was the only one out here for him. And it's just like, what do I do now? How do I get back home? But, you know, TK's mom, she actually bought me a bus ticket home. I had to ride the bus from Oklahoma all the way out here to Vegas. You know, I my brother just passed away and I'm still thinking about all of that going on. Then I have to come back. And then my best friend, my King is in jail for something that he didn't even do. So I'm struggling with that. Okay. Things are going cool for a little bit. Like I said, I had just started dancing. So I wasn't making a lot of money. I was in a new city, a new place by myself, uh, a house by myself. And I couldn't afford the rent. So I met this girl at my job and she invited me in to her house. I didn't I only knew her maybe for like two weeks. But God already knew where I was supposed to go. So he had everything already aligned. Like the universe had everything aligned in my favor. So I move into her house. I stay with her for a little bit. All of a sudden something's her apartment got broken into and it's just like she she thought I did it she thought I broke into her apartment and stole all of her shoes or something stole stole something from her and I'm just like because she doesn't really know me so I mean what else do you think you know and after that I'm like sleeping in my car sleeping in the car I was homeless at least for like at least for like maybe like two weeks maybe yeah I was homeless for about two weeks and I had just started another job so I hadn't got paid yet I was working a square a regular job a square job hadn't got paid yet 
so I'm homeless. This is the first time ever in my life that I had to, you know, like go through something like that when everything else is just like piling up, piling up. And I'm just like, like, does it end yet? <laughs> you know, like, God, does it end yet? And I actually got a job at a uh, a hotel. You know, I, I went in and I told my uh, my supervisors my my situation. You know, I'm sleeping in my car. I'm washing up in in the convenience store bathroom. You know, and it's just like the heck. So, but God already had that that planned out too. He already had that aligned in my in my favor too. So like I said, I, you know, I um, had a job at a hotel. They actually let me move in before I got my first paycheck. So I had a place to stay. TK actually got out the next month. He needed a place to stay because he was on probation. And it was just like everything was just like coming along, coming along, coming along. He finally got out this is November 2014. I'm just like, okay, it's good now. It's good now. You know, he's out now. I have a place to stay. And all I can say, like, from that whole situation is just, like, always just, like, go with the universe. Like, I sometimes for, for my own self, I tend to not be grateful for what, for what I have. And um, I just want to tell you guys to be grateful because it could all be like taken away within a second, within a second, you know, I don't want to be out here being emotional with you guys. <laughs> I'm an emotional person. I'm a Leo. So uh, we cry. We're emotional. We may act strong on the outside but on the inside we get emotional but yeah just be uh just know everything that happens in your life is just the best every single thing whether you feel that is it's the worst thing that could happen or you feel like it's the best thing that can happen everything that is going to <laughs> according to God's plan, according to the universe plan for your path. So it's just, you know, I just want to give you guys, you know, like a little bit of substance of me and to know a little bit about my story and where I'm going. And uh, yeah, you're right, Nia Wilson, that is my testimony. <laughs> it's still going to, I still have a lot more stories, y'all. <laughs> But that's what I'm going to give you tonight is 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 that story. Because uh, for me, that's like, uh, it, it, yeah, it goes deep. <laughs> it goes pretty deep. But, um, yeah, that was my story, guys. <laughs> no. um, if you have more questions, please ask me. Ask away. And... You know, if you're going through something right now for anybody, any of my ladies in the comments, like, just know I'm here for you. You can hit me up. I don't mind. My name is Armani Bougie, but I'm not bougie at all. Like, I will love you. Like, you're my family member. Like, you're my sister. So whatever you may be going through, if you just want to talk, if you just want to, you know, hit me up. I'm always here. Like, I love helping people because during my time and my storms, I didn't have anybody. Like, I didn't have, like, that that woman that I could go to and to, um, to talk to about my personal issues. So I want to be that person for any of you or for anybody else out there in the world. You know, whether, however old they are, teenagers, older, older women, it doesn't matter. I'm here for all y'all. Everybody. You guys are so sweet in the comments. I, lo I love all of you. <laughs> I love all of you. 
Thank you, Miss Kiki. So does anybody else want to call in? I know I've been talking the, the, the whole time, <laughs> getting emotional and stuff. Ugh. Let me fix my, my hair. <laughs> so yes, absolutely. No problem. I, I'm going to be sharing a lot more stories with you guys. Trust me. Trust me. So I'm going to continue to start having these little late night or midnight Armani talks from, you know, day to day, not day to day, just every once in a while. But um, I'm going to get off of here because it's like 1.15 in the morning now. My voice is getting uh, choked up. But yeah, go to YouTube. It's in the, it's been in the comments now. Subscribe to our um, YouTube channel, T.K.O. Capone and the D.A. Drip Angels. Like I said before, I don't know if you were on the other lives, on the Facebook live or the on his Instagram live, but he will be picking five winners out of the first 10,000 subscribers. And uh, he's going to cash up them $200 just for subscribing to our channel. So go subscribe to it. Also follow his channel. He has his own music channel, TKO Capone. You like his music, right? I do. I'm his number one fan. But go subscribe to it. Just TKO Capone on YouTube. Also, if you're not following him on his social media, follow him on Instagram. His Instagram is TKO Capone, Snapchat, King TKO Capone. And on Facebook, just TKO Capone. He has two pages, page one and page two. So go subscribe to YouTube, both YouTubes. Go subscribe to, not subscribe, go follow his social media. And ladies, we're going to have another midnight talk with Armani. I love all of you. Armani, gang, gang, gang. <laughs>